The Amarillo Venom were at home tonight taking on the New Mexico Stars. Now the Stars have their number on the regular season series 2-1 headed into tonight's game. Having lost four of their last five games, the Venom desperately needed a win to get back to 500. Pack Civic Center tonight, even Mickey and Minnie Mouse were in the house. Not a good start for the Venom on New Mexico's first snap. Their quarterback hooks up with McGee in the end zone for six. Stars missed the extra point up 6-0 early. On the ensuing kickoff, the ball bounces down. Looks like nobody wants to pick it up out there. But Johnson finally does way deep, and it looked like a safety, but they're actually ruled down on the half-yard line. Next snap, Calfish, Calfish can't handle it. He's tackled in the end zone for a safety. Stars are up 8 to nothing. Coach Reese talked about mental mistakes, and we're seeing those pretty early in the game. But here come the Venom. Stars quarterback throws one deep, as we saw on the first play of the game, but this time Bright picks it off. Venom drive it down the field, and we see here on the same possession, Calfish walks it in untouched to put the Venom on the board. Let's check out the final. Venom get the win 44-33. to They're now 4-4 four and four on the season, and the Venom play again at home in two weeks. Let's go to the MLB. Rangers in Detroit today, top of the fourth, tied 1-1. Martin hits one up the field for an RBI. Rangers take the lead 2-1. Top of the fifth, Rangers up 4-1. Adrian Beltre knocks one left, and it is out of the park. Rangers up 5-2-1 at this point. Then we go to the top of the sixth. The scoring continues with the runner on base. Murphy hits one out. Rangers take a lead 7-1. <laughs> we head to the top of the seventh. Bases loaded full count. Od Odor would empty the bases, hitting one all the way to the wall for an RBI triple. Let's check out the final. Rangers take care of the Tigers 12-2. They play again tomorrow around noon. And the Astros are tied with the Mariners 2-2 in the fifth inning. And Memorial Weekend calls for big plans. Kurt Busch certainly has them as he attempts the double. Right here on ABC tomorrow morning, he will race the Indy 500 at 11 o'clock. Then he will travel to North Carolina to drive another 600 miles at the Coca-Cola 600. Bush will be the fourth driver to ever attempt the double, other drivers being John Andretti, Tony Stewart, and Robbie Gordon the last one 10 years ago. But only Stewart has actually completed both races. And if you're curious about Bush's window for error, about 30 minutes. And the window for error for the Oklahoma City Thunder isn't much either. They find themselves down 2-0 against the San Antonio Spurs. But rumor on the street is Serge Ibaka wants to play. Their power player was announced out of the playoffs following a left calf sprain against suffered against the Clippers, but Ibaka says he's now day-to-day. Day-to-day, -day, mm, feeling better every day, you know. Kind of surprised, but I'm just thank God. Um, everything's going differently the way the doctor told me the last time, so I'm just happy right now. I'm shocked. I'm so surprised. <laughs> like I told you from the beginning, I know Sammy. We knew he'd be back, and that's good. Nobody would wish that on anybody to miss a playoff. You know, we've had guys miss playoffs before, and you know it's it's a, it's obviously a, a downer. So uh, if he gets back in, and I'm sure he will, as I've said from the beginning, you know, I think it's great. Gotta love Pop's sense of humor. Well, the Spurs and Thunder play tomorrow night in Oklahoma City at 7:30. And some final notes tonight: the Pampa softball team lost today against Snyder, so they're out of the playoffs. The Perryton Rangers also lost today against Iowa Park, six to two, so they are eliminated. And in dramatic fashion, Wall scored two runs with two outs in the bottom of the seventh to defeat the Bushland Falcons. So, unfortunately, the Falcons are also out of the playoffs. But what? we've got one team in the playoffs still. I'm sure you can guess who. I don't know who. The Lady Buff softball team. Well, of course. <laughs> you know, this has been a remarkable year for the WT sports. It really has been. Period. And Lady Buffs play tomorrow at noon. They're one team away from the championship game. So go Lady Buffs. That's right. Go Lady Buffs. All right. Well, Alyssa's in next with one last check of your forecast.